What's up everybody, it's me with ADHD. Welcome back to the Adderall vlog and this is one month on Adderall. So the first thing I'm gonna know is after my first week of being on Adderall, I switched immediately to 20 milligrams. I was originally on 10 milligram and while the effects were really amazing, I noted all of this in my original blog about how amazing it was, uh, it kind of, after a few days, it like kind of didn't give me the same feeling that it gave me on the first day, like again for the rest of that week. So I ended up putting it up to 20 milligram, which my doctor said is pretty normal. So 20 milligrams was pretty good. It felt the same as it originally did when I took the 10. Uh, I felt really focused all the time as well. I felt uh, energetic was the big one because I'd stopped drinking coffee because you can't really mix stimulants together. Uh, your Adderall is like a prescribed amount of stimulant. So it's like if you add coffee to that, that's an unregulated stimulant because you don't know how much caffeine is in your coffee. Uh, so when you mix both of those together, it can kind of throw off your medicine. So I had to stop drinking altogether, which is fine, apart from the severe headaches and the uh, like exhaustion that I got from it. But the good thing is, after a couple of days, the Adderall had started to kind of use its uh, own stimulant as an energy booster for me. So I felt like I had the energy again, which was great. Oh, the good thing about the focus thing was, you know, I know what we can still focus, but people with ADHD have such a hard time focusing on one certain thing because they don't get enough stimulation to the brain from that one thing. But with the Adderall at 20 milligram, I felt like I could pick and choose what I wanted to be focused on, which to be honest, I feel like is what every like person who doesn't have ADHD feels like. I feel like they can just focus on whatever they want and it's fine. Whereas for me and for us, it's like all over the place. So it's really, I mean, it was really great to be able to feel like I could just take that one thing and be like, right, I need to focus on this. A good example of this would be like, during my previous work, which is something that I've never really noticed until now, was I felt like all of my work was super overwhelming. Like there was so much of it. I felt like I was constantly having to do like all these different things all the time. And it was kind of like, where do you start? You have a bunch of tasks and which one do you start on? Because there's so many and then because there's so many, it's overwhelming. And then because it's overwhelming, you wait until last second to try and do everything. And then, pff, I mean, right? The good thing was on the Adderall, I could just kind of walk into work, pick up a notepad and then write down every single task that I had and literally just be like, right, Let's knock these out. Boom, 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 boom. Easy as that. And that's something that I've never been able to feel like I could do before. And it was really great to see that. And another thing that I felt was I had more of a realization of how much I struggled in the past before it. So like in the past, I never noticed how much I was overwhelmed by tasks, like how, like having a, a lot of tasks at once. You know, that's something that I came to realize immediately. I also came to notice that um, I wasn't as erratic. I wasn't as all over the place with everything. You know, I was a little bit more organized now because I felt like my thoughts were more organized, which was really cool, you know, and also, people started to notice that I started to pay more of attention to them. So in the past, like, it's not like I wasn't paying attention to them. It's just that conversation is there and I can hear that, but there's other things that I need to be focused on at that time, you know? So I'm listening to them while I'm also looking at my TV or I'm looking at uh, my computer screen or I'm doing something on my phone. And then they think that I'm being super rude and they're like, this guy isn't even listening to me, but it's not true. I am because then I'll answer them with the exact answer that they've been You know that they asked me and it's crazy because Now I can sit and I can literally just listen and talk to people and I feel like I don't need that extra You know to get me through the conversation Which is awesome, especially for like meetings and stuff like that. I just feel like I don't need to be unfocused anymore so all that stuff was really great and I was enjoying myself on my first month of Adderall, especially bumping it up to the 20 milligram. It was really awesome, but here's something that I didn't see coming. So 
you know, I see all these changes within myself and I feel really awesome about it and it is awesome. The problem there is, you notice all these changes, but everyone else is either, they don't recognize them immediately or they still know you are who you are. So for an example, I would say, let's say you're in school or you're in work and your teacher or your boss kind of, they know you have the concentration and the memory problems. They know all that kind of stuff about you and that's kind of who you've been for however long you've been there. So now you have all these amazing changes in you and it's amazing and you can see it and they can see it, but you still have built up this person who you are before and they're gonna still kind of try and treat you like that which is frustrating for me because I was like how can you not see these changes that I am feeling and they can see them it's just like I said you've built up this premise for the last however long you've been there that this is who you are and people's opinions don't just change like immediately which for me was frustrating because I, as someone with ADHD, I like instant gratification on everything and the fact that it wasn't instantly changing with other people, I really found that frustrating. And I had to sit and take a step back and just kind of realize that it's not their fault, it's just human nature and you're gonna have to kind of work your way into giving them a new mindset of who you are. But anyway, approaching the end of the month, everything was going really great. And then I had a period at work where I was working like a lot. I was doing a lot of uh, extra work outside of work. I was doing a lot of work in work and I started to get a lot less sleep than I would normally get. This led to me thinking that it was the Adderall that wasn't working anymore. It wasn't, it was the fact that I was getting no sleep which you do need to get good sleep, you need a regular good diet when you're on Adderall, you need all that kind of stuff for it to work and for you to be healthy. Well, I didn't have that and I started to think that it was because of the Adderall. So I went and spoke to my doctor and we ended up increasing my Adderall to 30 milligrams. I will let you know how that went in the next one. But for this one, I'm done. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something or at least got a little bit of an experience of what it was like for the first month of Adderall. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys have been through similar experiences, how you felt, uh, everything. Just let me know. Just drop it in the comments below. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel, uh, like the video if you did, click the bell icon if you want to stay updated with all of my new content, and I'll see you guys in the next one.